Today we're going to be putting a carbon fiber front grille in my C8 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be changing out the factory carbon flash front grille on my C8. Now we're going to be replacing it with the awesome carbon fiber version of the same grill from Extreme Online Store. Now, if you notice right here, uh, this is a two-piece kit. You're going to have you have this piece here, and also which is your main piece. It also allows you to be able to put a license plate on if you want to do that, um, and I don't. So it has the filler piece that just goes in and snaps in place. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start taking the uh, car apart. You've gotta take, uh, just kinda go over it just a hair here. We've gotta take our front wheels off, as well as we've gotta take the wheel liners out. We've gotta take our front splitter off the car if you have a splitter. And then we have to take all the little black trim that's underneath uh, the bumper here to be able to get that all completely free. Then once we get that wheel liner out, there is right here, there is three screws that we're going to be taking out on each side. And there is one electrical plug on this side. There's two on the opposite side. And um, then it's comprised with a bunch of 15 torque screws as well as some seven millimeter screws. And you're going to see that here. We'll get the camera underneath. We'll lift the car up a little bit higher. And this job is, you could do this on the ground. You, you could jack your car up, you know, put it on jack stands and you could do it. Um, we're doing it here on the lift. One, it's a lot easier, but two, this way you guys can actually I can get that camera in there and then you guys can see it. So I'm going to try to get really good views of everything and uh, we'll, we'll just do our very best to be able to make it easy for you. Now, my install is going to be just a hair different. All right? You won't have to deal with this part, but <clears throat> I put in these front light bars here from Paragon Performance. And um, you can get these from Vet Lights. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that information here on the screen also, just so you know. But these, these lights, they go, they're routed. You know, when you put these on, you have to take this side of the fender loose anyhow. So the wires are routed right up into that harness that we're going to take loose up in there anyhow. It's just kind of an inline plug in. So we have to make sure that we do that before we try to pull the bumper off. Otherwise, it's just not going to come free. So anyway, that's that's the only caveat. Every video I've seen, guys, um, they don't address this. Um, and so then at that point, you know, they're saying, hey, take this connector off, take that connector off, and the bumper will come right off. And no, on this one, it won't. So if you don't have these, then you don't have to worry about that part of it. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now. Uh, it's not a hard job. It's just time, okay? Um, this bumper actually comes off pretty easy. And um, there are also, we're going to have to lower the car back down. We have to open the the front lid here, we've got to take the trim out of the uh, front area to be able to get to all of the screws that run right along here. So once we get all that stuff done, the bumper just basically will just almost fall off. Uh, it's, it's very, very simple once it's all done. So we're just going to go step by step and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, so now that we have the front wheels off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start taking all this apart here. So what we've got to do first, we've got to take our splitter off so we can get down to all these trim pieces that we're going to end up taking off the car. And then once we get to that point where we've got this all apart, then we can go into the wheel liner and we can take the wheel liners out. So we're just going to start right here on the corner. And these are, these are all 15 Torx right here. started on this side I skipped a couple of the screws right here in the center and went all the way around this way I can take these last two screws out and I can control it now if you've got a friend someone that wants to help you 
um, then it really doesn't matter. You can have them hold one side and you can hold the other and it's not a big deal. But when you're doing this by yourself, um, you want to be able to have the best amount of leverage that you can get. So this is the last screw. This way we, we can prop this down and we don't end up dropping our splitter. Okay. And at that point, take this little guy and we can move it down and out of the way. Okay, so now what we've got here is we've got screws that go here all the way across here. We've got some that go down this direction, some go down this direction. Again, some are, some are 15 Torx and some of them are 7 millimeter screws. So you're just going to drop these screws out. torques. I think I got, so these are rivets I believe. And we just need to do our 7 millimeter here. So we'll do that. Alright, so we got our 7 millimeters. Now we have one, one right here. I'm sure you guys can see it. We'll get to a, we'll get to a point here. We've got two that are right here on the back side of this trim piece. There's one here, one here, and then we've got one in this kind of cavity in here. So these two here are seven millimeter, and then the one that's up inside there, um, it, I think is a uh, 15 Torx. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, yeah, and you can see that water gets stuck up in there, so be aware. All right. Alright, there's that one. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pull. I just washed the car, guys, so that's probably where that water is coming from. Yep, there's a 15, 15 torques that's right up here hiding in this hole. Alright, pull that one little guy out. And now at this point, this should be free. So I think we'll be able to pull this down now. There we go. And we'll be able to pull it, pull it out. Just like that. Okay? Alright, we'll set that one off to the side. Alright. Then, this little guy now, this one should be free also. You want to, and when you're taking these out, just be careful that you don't, um, well look at that, dump some more water on myself. But, you want to make sure that you don't pull it out and then end up messing up where the clips are and then you're having to hunt down where you have a quick clip. I'm going to put that off to the side there. And we'll go ahead and get this other screw out of here. Alright, let's see, we've got two over here. forgets about. All right, so now we got that free. Now I'll see if I can dump some more water on myself, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull that free. All right. I think we already got it all out. Okay. So now, um, you can see there's my wire that's coming from here. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're gonna, I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to show you up here in the wheel wells. Um, this way you'll know what you've got to do to be able to get the wheel well out. It comes out really, really simple. So um, here we'll just we'll just jump into it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that seven millimeter screw out of the bottom right here. Get that one, and then we'll pull this off to the side. And at that point, we can take the rock guard off the car. Okay. We'll set this off to the side. 
Then that reveals our our other uh, 15 Torx here that we're going to go ahead and take out. There's one there, one right here. Okay, I'm just going to set these off to the side here. Okay, and then we're going to start pulling these. There's also one back here, right here at the bottom. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Probably not. The caliper's probably blocking it. There's one right back here where the brake lines go, go down underneath this cover. There's also a screw right up here. Put some of these screws down. So don't drop them or lose them. Okay. There's one pointing upward right here. Get that one out of the way. There's also one right here, straight in. Okay, let's pick that. And then we've got one right here, right here at the bottom of this vent. See if I can get in there. Trying to stay out of the way so you guys can see. And then there's one above the vent. Right here. Okay. So like I was telling you guys, there's a lot of 15 torques here. Then we've got one down here at the bottom on this outer edge. And another one. And another one. And one more. And I think we have them all. Pretty sure. We're going to find out here real quick. Okay. So we should be, we should be free. So this will just pull out. You can pull that like so. We don't have anything up here. So we should be good. There might be... Yep, oh, I missed a couple here, guys. There's a couple seven millimeter screws that are right here. So let's get these little guys. They're right here at the bottom. So this wheel liner is in there with a lot of screws. All right, so now we got those done. And those two screws happen to be the same length as the same one uh, as the screw that holds the rock guard in, so you don't have to worry about those getting, you know, getting confused with those. Okay, and then at that point, we should be able to pull this down, just like this. Looks like I got one of my little tabs here that's broken. All right, so then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pull that free, just like that. And that comes right out. Okay, so now we're gonna go do that on the other side, okay? All right, we're gonna start right here at the rock guard. We're gonna get this rock guard out of the way. We'll just work our way forward. I know my head's in the way, guys, and I'm sorry about that. I just, I have to get in here and be able to do some of the work. Okay, we'll pull the rock guard off. Set this off to the side here. Okay. And then we'll be able to get to, we might as well go ahead and take these two seven millimeters off of the bottom here while we're here. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see what we're doing here. All right, so we're gonna pull that out. Now we've got our 15 forks here. be able to put the screws down. I'm having to reach across you guys. I'm, I apologize for that. Okay, and then we're going to go right into here and we're going to go ahead and get this little guy out. 
and we'll get this one out. And I'll put these screws down. Okay, so now this screw here, I think you guys can see this one. Let me see if I can make sure you guys can see it. It's this one that's right here. This was the one I couldn't show you on the opposite side. It's right here, like I said, right next to the brake line. And you'll you want to make sure, since that one's kind of tucked down in there, you don't want to forget it. Okay, and then at that point, we're going to come across here. We've got one right here. Okay, and then we've got one right here. Okay, there's that. And we've got one here on this. This, from this angle, you're probably not going to be able to see this screw. But you're getting the gist of it that there's a lot of screws that you're just going to have to pull out. All right, so then we've got our we've got a we've got a screw here at the bottom of this vent here. So these screws are hiding in plain sight, guys. So it's not really a big deal. You'll see them. Just be on the lookout for them. Okay, and then we've got our four screws here on this edge. All right, now I just gotta set my screws down. There we go. And now we should be able to go ahead and pull our wheel liner out if I haven't forgot one again. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, this all seems to be free. I don't think we missed any this time. out of inside of the fender well itself it should be nice and free there we go let's go ahead and get it down and out of the way all right So now we are good to go this way. All right, guys, we are on the driver's side. We've got our two connectors right here. And these are a little more tricky than the other side. So let me show you how these work. So I've, I've just pulled this little guy off the, off the little Christmas tree that was holding it here so we can get it closer. But right here, right at this very end, there is a safety tab, okay? And it comes out. So if you get get in there with your fingers or your or a small screwdriver, you can see that, that pulls out like that, and then you can press right here at the very end. It's it's really hidden. It's kind of a weird setup right there, but you press right there, and then this will come loose. It comes loose really easy. So you can see once you figure out how to do it, right? That here's the plug. I'm gonna take. Let's see if we can get that safety clip there out of the way again. Okay, you heard it click open. And then you're just gonna press at the very top, right, to release it, and it comes free. I mean, it's super simple. It's just, you gotta know how to do it. And it's keyed, so there's no only one way it's gonna go back in, okay? Okay, guys, the last thing we've gotta do up here in the fenders is that we've got to get these three screws out. Now these two bottom screws, they're pretty easy. You can do, use a, you know, a, a, a power gun or a little ratchet of some sort. But for this one up here in the corner, you're gonna end up needing to be able to have just like a small seven millimeter wrench. And you're just gonna be able to have to get up in there and 
just undo it. Now I've already started to undo it just for sake of the, the video, but we can go ahead and we can get that little guy, get that one out of the way. Like so, and we can put it right up here in the A-frame, the A-arm here, okay? And then we can go ahead and we can get, you can see I'm using an angle tool here to be able to get in here. Hopefully my head is out of your way. And we can go ahead and pull these screws out. Just like that. But you shouldn't drop it, but you know, not a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that one out of the way there like so. Okay, and if we can get that down without dropping it all. There we go. So there's our bracket. We're just going to save that. We'll put that off to the side and then we'll move over to the other side and do the same thing. All right. So for the sake of time for the video, I took that one back screw out already just with a wrench and then these two, they can come out just like that. All right, we can go ahead and get this little guy out of here, just like so. Okay, so now we can go ahead and lower the car down so we can go ahead and start taking the top side of the car apart. So we've got the car down and we are ready to go ahead and start taking the front compartment apart. Now, what you're seeing here, this is the first time that anybody's seeing this. This is something that we actually, the Corvette channel builds. Um, so if you're interested in doing something like this for your C8, uh, reach out to us. There's so many variations that I can't even give you a, a, even a price uh, without you, you and I talking. Uh, we can do it where we have a, like, the equivalent of a like a wind restrictor in here. Uh, this happens to be a computer screen uh, which has a laptop underneath that runs it um, and then it also has an AM FM uh, Bluetooth um, with an amplifier system in it. This is a marine system and the picture these uh, these, um, these speakers they light up LED and then there is a battery that you can you can also purchase that will allow you to get six eight hours of music and video going the whole time uh, with a battery that's underneath otherwise you can just plug this into the cigarette lighter socket and then you know you run off the car battery but I highly don't recommend that but that gives you the option you can do it so if any of you guys are interested in one of these uh, feel free to reach out to me um, and we'll we can get you going but uh, they're very, 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 very simple. Uh, you can just grab the speaker grills and you can just pull this right out. And uh, you see, I have my, my cord here, it got a little stuck. Just like that. And then this little guy comes right out, okay? And we are going to be having those set up so they can be, these units can be hung on the wall and then be used while they're in the garage. So you can see here's the, the battery setup that we have for this. It's a pretty large battery. It also serves as a couple different things. It also serves as a air inflator, tire inflator, and it also has a jump starting unit as well as a 400 watt inverter. So uh, you're not going to get running off of that all day long. It's not going to hurt your car at all because it's not even touching it, but it really does finish it off. The other thing that we've got going on here is we've got a carbon fiber surround. This is actually, to be truthful, this is a hydrocarbon surround system. This is made by all factory GM parts and then we, we hydro, uh, hydro dip them and you can get them a couple different ways um, and that's with, uh, with the, like this one happens to have the red trim around it with the red Corvette letters. Um, if you want that, it's a little bit more. If you just want to do the hydrocarbon, then it's, uh, 
it's uh, just a little little cheaper. It's a couple hundred dollars more to do the uh, the painting. So other than that, um, those are a few things that are available through us. And if you're interested, feel free to reach out to me. I'll put that part in the in, in the video too, so you can reach out to us and get a quote on that. Okay. So now what we've got to do back to the original video is we've got to get this trim out. Now those of you that have already pulled this out a half a dozen times, this is not going to be a surprise to you. The factory battery sits right here. Okay? So these are the same parts uh, as the factory. So these just pop out. Just like that. Okay. Come on. Just like that. Okay, there's one, and you can put that down in here. We're going to pull one out over on this side. Same thing. And I'm being real careful with these because they are hydrocarbon, and I don't want to. I don't want to mess something up here. If you had the factory ones, you could just pull it right off. Anyway, then you've got this other piece. This all piece comes up as one. So you're going to snap that free like so. And you're going to snap it free over here. Just like that. Then this lifts up and out. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to slip this off to the side. And then we've got this bottom piece here, and this just pops. What we can do, we can go ahead and pull this, this rubber free here, and it, it doesn't have to come all the way off. Just get it up here like this. Kind of gets this out of the way, and then you can just kind of put that down inside here like that. Makes it a little bit easier to get this out. And this is, again, this is just snap in, guys. It just literally is just like this. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the 15 Torx out. So I'm going to set these down inside here so I don't lose them. And like I said, this one here is a little bit different screw. It has a different washer and stuff on it, so make sure that you don't get this one confused. You can see there's a spacer on it like that. See that? There we go. Take a look at that. I'll get it right there in the camera for you. So you want to make sure that you don't confuse those. one last, last 15 torques that's a little bit different. Like I said, it has that washer on it. And I'm going to set that over here like so. So you can see here that this is free. Okay? And this is completely screwed free. So the only trick, the only caveat to this is there's a couple little like clips. You'll see this when I pull it loose. But you're just trying to get this to pop free. And it, there's no screws in there. It's just like a spring clip. Okay, so you know when you go to do this, and the C7 has the same thing. You can see there. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the fender. I'm also pulling up at the same time here, so you can see that it's coming out of those clips. But you want to be careful with them, just like that. See how that came free, and that's that's the perfect way of doing it. Okay. Um, in the C7, some of these got so tight that I actually I broke one of these tabs once. I had to have it repaired on my bumper, and it really sucked. So be careful with this, guys. You're, you're literally just, you know, apply some equal, equal distant pressure, and then if it gets a little bit, little bit too tight, you can just like try to pop it, just like that.
okay? And then at that point, we should be free. This, this vendor's free, this is free, this is free, this is all completely free. So, and we've pulled everything loose on the bottom. And so, um, we should be able to go ahead and pull the bumper off now. So we're just going to grab it right here in the center. Get yourself, you know, get as much as you can to hold on to it. And this should just come free. Okay, just like that. And that's, now we've got the bumper off. All right guys, we finally got the bumper here on our stand and we are going to uh, be taking uh, everything apart here to transfer everything out. And so these little clips, I did the other side over here already and um, they're a little, they're pretty touchy on how you get them out. So I think what's happening is when they put them together, I think that the paint was still wet and so it doesn't want to, uh, you know, it seems like it's bonded pretty well. So you just want to have like a small screwdriver, uh, you know, or a, um, a little pry tool. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to actually, you're going to have, um, let me show you here on this one here, which you've got, uh, was it six points on here as well as two points over here that these are just like little clips. And so there's a little clip edge on them and it slides through a slot that's here. And I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. You can see the little slots here, right? All the way around. They just slide in and clip in place, but they are very, very tight and it's in a tight quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this one off here. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and go on over to here. You, you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm gonna try to get in here so I can get behind this clip, um, but you will be able to see it. It just it takes a little bit of finessing here um, to to get this. And let's see if I can get in there with my, my finger. There we go. And there we go. Get one up there. Once you get the clip going and get it started, then you can, it'll pop free as you can see right there. And then we're gonna go right over here and we'll start lifting up on that one. And you're, all you're doing, so you're just gonna kinda get the clip free at first. Once you get it, guys, it will start to pop. It's just you got to get it to start. There we go. And then we can go ahead and we can set this off to the side. Okay. Now, the next thing that you've got to do is you've got your camera that you, you need to be able to remove. And these are flexible. That's nice, right? So we can just kind of lift the camera up as we pull the tabs back. Don't over pull, but you'll be able to get it free. So you just walk it, walk it out, just like that. There we go, and we just set it off to the side. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my a couple of my tools out of the way here, and then we should be able to go ahead and take our seven millimeters. And we're gonna take these screws out. got two seven millimeters right here. Okay. And we've got two over here near me. All these screws are the same length, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop these clips free. We've got a we've got a couple different ones here that we need to get free. So we're just gonna pop that. Gotta 
get underneath it to get it to come out. this around here. I got my light stand here in the way and I'm trying to make sure you guys can see, but I'm not. Let me see if I can get some more light on the subject here for you. There we go. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better now. So we've got some clips that are being kind of a pain in the butt. There we go, and that's one. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next one here. Just like that. Same thing on this one. Let's see if I can push up here. The clip should be free. There we go. And then we've got another one right here. There we are. And these, they don't have clips on them. This one does. So you kind of, what you're doing is you're either gonna lift up like this and then do your, your clip. and get a little bit farther over here now. There we go, just like that. And then that one just went. So we've got this last one of this style. There we go. And then we've got this very last clip right here. This one I think was the hardest one of the bunch. So let me see if I can, maybe I can just kind of pry it out. Well, yeah. almost. Very temperamental. All right, we're almost there. There we go. Okay, so now at that point, we should be able to lift this little guy out. So we're gonna push. Now, it has a little tab right here. Enough, Larry, can you see this part? Can you see this right here? You guys will point that out because what's happening is that the bumper is tucking into this little slot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the bumper kind of out that way. You see how that worked, that was tucked in? So we're gonna pull that out like so, okay? And then this one is the same way and we'll be able to pull it out, okay? Just like that, okay? And then you definitely want, I'm learning right this minute, you definitely want to be able to have a, you want to be able to have another uh, person to help hold you, hold this, because once you take this out, it becomes very unstable, okay? Anyway, we've got this out now. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the new piece in, and now what we've gotta do is we've gotta make sure that we get this, this little uh, tip right here to go into, the bumper like that, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we, we've got to get, we've gotta get some formity to the bumper because the the bumper itself is, is tweaking and twisting and doing all these things on us. And so you're definitely gonna want to have a couple people uh, to be able to help you with this. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got that, I took the guide pin, put that in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set a screw here so we have, we have something to work from, okay? We'll, we'll just, we won't tighten it all the way down, but this way it's not gonna come loose, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift this up and we're going to get this tab here. And let's see, you can see right there that wants to come free. So we gotta make sure that stays in. And then we've gotta be able to get this little guy to go up. So there's a lot of angles we're dealing with and you're gonna feel this, it's it's just gonna, it's gonna try to fight you. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to put another screw in over here. And 
what did I do with my gun? There it is. So we're gonna put another screw right here. And we're gonna secure this. Guys, I'm telling you, this is, it being carbon fiber, it's awesome, but it has no flex, so it, you know, you've got to get this, you got to get this down just right. Okay, and then we've got to get this one in there like so, and then you got to make sure that you tuck that piece in right there to be able to get that together. Then at that point, we should have most of our holes set to go, and we can go ahead and we can get these in just a second. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a couple, couple more screws just to lock this bumper back together because it's, uh, it's definitely a lot of moving parts. It's very flexible, um, and so we wanna make sure that we can, we can hold the bumper together without damaging it. Okay, so now the bumper's a little, little bit stronger than it was, that's for sure. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that our clips all go in place guys so we got all of our screws in we got all of our clips done so this piece is in there and secure now at this point it's time to go ahead and put the cameras back in Here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this camera in. And these are pretty tight, guys. They're uh, this being carbon fiber, um, these ears are a lot tighter than the, the factory ones that we took out, or we took these out of, I should say. So, we just gotta get these lined up. Ears just like hanging on to the side of the camera, so okay, and then we're gonna get that lined up. straight and there we go all right all right so we're good now all right so now at this point we've just got to put our, our vents back in place and we've got We've got one here. I don't know where we set the other one. We'll have to, have to find that here in a second. We'll go ahead and help. Thanks, Letter. Let's go ahead and put this right over here. And so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to snap our grills, our grills here back in place. And you'll be able to see where those go and, and the tabs that they fit into. Okay. And so you just get those lined up and try to get them, kind of get them lined up first before you snap them all in place. That way you're not fighting yourself with all the different clips. So you've got your two clips that go back over here. Okay, they go there. And then you've got these here, like that, like that. Almost looks like it's, 
like it's going together okay. I'm gonna snap those there in place like that. Okay. Like so. There we go, just like that. And this one here, it goes on like this one. This goes over to these two ears here. And then you're going to lock those down in place here like that. And all the way around. That one's going to tuck down in there like that. Okay. And then you're going to slide it up till it locks into these. And this will be your guide points because this is the original factory piece. You know exactly where that goes. And then the rest of it, you're just getting these to go in place. Just like that. Okay, and there you go. All right, so now at this point, guys, we are we are done with putting, uh, transferring everything over. Now we can go back to the car, put the bumper back on. All right, guys, we are, we're on the final leg here. We're gonna go ahead and be able to put it back on. And so we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to set this up here like so. Now there's a, a bottom bracket that holds the front of the bumper together and you're gonna make sure that it goes underneath the, uh, the bumper not hang out uh, from the bottom. And then we're also, we're just gonna go across here like so. We're gonna make sure that these tabs go right there. You'll see, you'll feel them. There's, you'll feel that they go right where they belong. And then you can see this ear here. You're gonna lift this up. And you're gonna set that there just like this. Don't snap it in yet, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing over on this side, okay? Gonna make sure that our bumper, the ears line up there like that. This goes in there like so, okay? So now, this looks pretty good. It's, it's smooth all the way down, all the holes line up. So we can now go ahead and we can snap this in place. Just like that, okay? And we'll do that over here on this side too. Okay, you can see how that goes on there. It looks pretty darn nice, right? So now, what we're gonna do before I put any of the screws here in the top end, I'm just gonna close, I'm gonna close the trunk down and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift the car up in the air and that way we can get underneath and put the wheel wells and all that type of stuff back together. Alright guys, so now that we've got our bumper cover on, what we need to do is we need to make sure that our connections are done. Now, if you don't have those front uh, lights from Paragon on the front, you won't have these two wires. The only two, the only one that you're going to have to worry about is this one right here, okay? So you're just going to put this little guy back together, you're going to snap it and push the red clip in, and then you're going to put that right back in its place, just like that. Okay, so... After we get this plug done, if you don't have the front Paragon lights, then you're done in this spot as far as electronics. If you do have the Paragon lights, then you're just gonna plug your light back in, okay, right here like so, and this will get just tucked up in the corner like that, okay? And then we were, will be good to go for to put the wheel well back together. Um, we do also have our, our three uh, screws here that we need to put back in. And that goes right up here to hold this fender together. So we've got our three screws that we saved over here in the wheel well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in. And that'll go up like so. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this in the right spot. I gotta get it in the right spot though first. There we go. And now remember guys, you've got the one screw here in the back that you'll have to do by, um, by a wrench, okay? The other two can go up with, this, with a speed gun or something like that. But this is what's gonna hold your, hold your bumper and your fender back together. Okay. 
and let's see, there we go. And at that point, what you can do is you can do the two outer screws first. Now you want to hold, make sure that your fender and your bumper are lined up fine. Okay. And then you can go ahead and tighten those up. And once you get those lined up right where you need it, you can push this one in just a little bit and get that one lined up. Okay. Right there. Now we've got a nice seam right there again. Okay. And then we can take our wrench and we're going to tighten this last screw that's up inside here. Okay, and this one, unfortunately, it is a, it's got to be manual because it, it's just, uh, there's just not enough room in there to be able to get your gun in there, guys. All right, so now we've got this, we've got the, uh, all the connections put back in. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this, this wheel liner back in. Okay. You just gotta get it, get it to go, get in there and go around this vent that's in here. There we go, just like that. Okay, and then you bring this up. Just getting it inside the wheel well. Okay. And then at that point, you'll be able to push it in there like so, all the way around. And then it's just a matter of putting our screws back in. So let me grab my, my screw gun here. Here's all our screws. So we're gonna go right up here in the top corner right now. We'll go right here. And these are all your 15, 15 torques. And we're just gonna start them. We're not gonna cinch them up yet because we wanna make sure that everything's gonna line up. And then we'll go back and we'll tighten them all down. think my drill is dying. Okay, one right there. Okay, right here. Come on, if I can get started. Okay, and then we've got some right here. So far, so good. And let's see, what else do we got? We got one down here below the vent, right down here. And we got one right up here above the vent. My drill is just about dead. Oh, we got another one right here. So we'll have to follow it up. Let's see, now we've got our two here. We've got that one there, we got this one there, one here, one here, one there, one there, one here, and we've got our three here. Okay, so I just need, and we are one right there. And I have got my three that go underneath that are our seven millimeter torques. And we'll go down here. Got these two. And my drill is dead, so I'm gonna have to get my screw gun. So we'll go there. And then this one goes for our rock guard when we put it back on. 
Okay, so we've got all of our screws tight in the wheel well here. So now we're gonna put our rock guard on. Now that we've got our two screws in here, we'll put our rock guard in. You got our two slots right here that go in the ear for the rock guard. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get that in there like so, like that. And then we'll drive that in like so. And then we'll take our other screw, our other seven millimeter, and we'll go right here. There we go. And we've got our other two here. All right, so now we're put back together in our wheel well. I'm gonna go over and do the other side and then we'll come back and we'll do, we'll start over here again. All right guys, we are on the downhill stretch. So we've gotta put our two pieces of trim in, this one and on the other side, you're just gonna tuck these up inside here into the bumper, just like that. Okay, so that's get tucked, it's tucked up underneath there, like this, okay. And that goes there, goes there like that. And then what we're gonna have, so see that goes right there like so. And then you've got, you've got your two, two screws here that are gonna go up right here. If I can get my hand out of the way. We got one that's gonna go there. Okay. We'll do that one. Okay, and then we've got one more that goes here. And then we've got one that's, like I showed you before, it's hidden, and it's right up inside this hole. Okay, so you're gonna go, you're gonna put it right up there. And this will go inside there, if we can get it to line up just right. Okay. Of course, it's not gonna line up for me. Okay, and kind of wrinkled a little bit. I don't know what the deal is on that. There we go. And we'll tighten it back up. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat that on the opposite side. All right. I'll put this one back up here too. Tuck this underneath. Just like that. Tuck this underneath there like so. Get our screws started. Ah. And our one that's hiding up in here. Okay, so now all we've got to do is we've got to put our centerpiece in place and then start screwing everything back up, put our splitter back on. Okay, so we've got the last piece here before the splitter. I'm gonna tuck this up in here. Now, this has gotta go up inside like so, okay? It's gonna go up like that, and this is gonna go up over here like this, okay? So you get that tucked in, and then you can push this up and put it up. And I just lost a clip. There we go. I see where it went. It's gonna go right here. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this up in place. Okay, just get it lined up. Get that up there like so. You'll be able to see the the clips here. And we need to get this one, get our bracket here. So you want to make sure that you put your support uh, support screw into the support rod here. Okay. And that way, that's nice and tight. And then we can go ahead and we can push this up inside. Make sure that you don't knock the clips off. So it's a balancing act, guys. You just definitely gotta, just kinda make sure you get everything up in there. You'll be able to see the clips, so you'll know that you got them in the right spot. 
and everything should line up. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and start with, we're just gonna start a couple of these screws here. We're gonna, we're gonna take these back out, but I just wanna start a couple of them so we know that we've got, we've got everything lined up the way we want it. Okay. And then we can start putting all the other ones in. These are where all of our splitter screws go. So that, that's good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our seven millimeter screws in over here. Sure, this all lines up. There we go. Now we can go ahead and we can go from here, we can go all the way across with our, with our uh, 15 Torx. So yeah, Chevrolet really did put, they, they must have took stock in, in Torx, I'll tell you. There's a lot of them. Okay, let's get that in there. All right. I think I can put this one in also. And I can take this one out. Because this was our, our guide screw to get everything going. We can take those out to get them out of the way for the splitter. And we should be good to go now. We should be able to put this one screw back in right here. All right. Now we're ready for the splitter. All right, guys. We are down to almost the last. We're at the very bottom except for the very top piece that we have left. And what we're going to do is we're going to start right here in the center and we're going to go right here. And we're going to get this get this to go. And I'm going to just start this with my drill or my screw gun I should say. Okay we're just getting it started. We're going to put one more here in the center to just even the load here a little bit where we're not taking the chance of breaking our splitter. If I can get it to cooperate with me. Hopefully we we don't have any issues with that. Down to our last one, guys. All right, we're done underneath. We are ready to go ahead and put the wheel on. Put our screws back together and put our trim back on. 
So if you remember from the beginning of the video, we tucked away our screws down here in the trunk, or I should say frunk, okay? And if you remember right, we had two that had washers. Remember that? Those little guys go right here in the wide opening area, okay? So you wanna make sure that you put those back right there like that, okay? So we'll get those set first. Okay, just like that. And then we can go ahead and we can put these in. Let's get them started. This one here has a little burr in the screw, it looks like. So hopefully that'll go right in. screw down here in the bottom. There it is. We'll put it in there like so. And then we'll go ahead and start screwing it down. And hopefully this one can give us a bad time. There we go. the trim we'll pop our trim in and we'll be all done okay so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this little guy in just gonna set it in place just like so and it will snap right into place just like that okay then we're gonna take our other piece here and what you want to do is that this little drain area actually goes above this okay so this tucks below it so you're gonna you're gonna bring this up like that, and it's gonna go in just like that. Okay, there we go, just like so, and it's just gonna snap in place. There's that. Okay, and then we're gonna take our trim pieces here. These little guys go right in here. Tuck that down in there. Come on. Got a clip here. This has got to go around. There we go, just like that. And then this goes like so. Snaps in place, just like that. And then we've got one more. That's going to go over here on this side. Tuck around the hinge, and then it just goes right here in place. There's that. Now the very last thing was one of the first things we did. We're just going to put our rubber right back down over over the edge here. guys and that is all there is to install one of these so guys I know this video was long today uh, there was a lot to what we were doing we had we had to pull this whole front apart we had to take the front bumper off we had to change everything up here inside and everything was extremely extremely tight the tolerances very tight uh, this was my first installation of one of these and I've learned a lot and one of the things that you're gonna want to make sure that you do is when like I said and we talked about it in the video that you're gonna to want to 
make those holes equally as large in this one as they are in the factory one, which will make your life so much easier when you're installing these. Um, but, I mean, take a look at how beautiful this actually is. It, it was worth every bit of the work that you, that you needed to do to get this. It just, it just totally changes the way the car looks. And I just, I just can't say enough about how awesome it looks. And with already having the, the uh, rear already done and so much other carbon fiber on it, it, was, it just really needed this. And so it really does look great. But like I said, a little bit of work and a lot of finesse to be able to put it together, but it's well worth it. So when it does come time that you are interested in getting one of these, you'll know exactly where to get it. You can go to extremeonlinestore.com or you can reach out to me directly and I'm gonna put that information right here. It's the Corvette channel at gmail.com or you can call me at my number or text me and we can get you a discount on these and we can go ahead and get them shipped right out to you. So anyway, um, guys, I'm just, uh, I can't even begin to tell you how awesome this is. I love every bit of how this looks. So like I said, if you guys are in the market and not just for this, right? Anything that Extreme Online sells, be sure and reach out to me. I'll see what I can do about getting you guys a discount and then we can go from there, okay? Uh, those again, those of you that have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys all very much for subscribing and watching. And uh, those of you that haven't, you've been watching, but maybe it's your first time watching today, please hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our, our next uploads. And uh, guys, we will catch you on the next one. We've got a whole bunch more coming. So thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.